The number of glide bombs launched by Russia at Ukraine is rapidly increasing, and they are wreaking havoc. Just between the 16th to 17th of March, there were 138 recorded detonations, 54 of those in the oblast of Sumy. And Ukrainian air defense, much like artillery, is running out of ammunition. According to various reports, missiles for some air defense systems may run out in a matter of weeks. But what are glide bombs and what makes them so dangerous? Conceptually, it's the Russian analog to the JDAM. In Ukraine, they're called CABs. In other words, an upgrade kit that is attached to a regular, unguided aviation bomb. Russia started mass producing them after losing a lot of aircraft during the first months of the full-scale invasion. The kit, in the form of a small airframe plus a guidance system, is attached to the bomb, and now, instead of something that just drops, falls and explodes, you have a fairly precise long-range weapon that doesn't have to be physically dropped by a pilot over the combat zone, but can be released from a relatively safe distance. The exact range varies. The higher the plane, the further it can fly. But on average, these glide bombs have a range of around 60 kilometers. Typically, they are launched from around 30 to 40 kilometers behind the front line, which is just outside the maximum range of common Ukrainian air defense systems like the Buk, since these systems most often are not deployed directly on the front line, but a bit behind. This gives the glide bombs a target zone of around 20 to 30 kilometers deep inside Ukrainian controlled territory. Glide bombs come in different sizes, 250 kilograms, 500, one ton, and even 1.5. And Russia's supply is seemingly endless. The damage these bombs make is massive, and also it's comparably cheap. The exact cost is unknown, it's somewhere in the thousands of dollar range, but not tens of thousands. What can Ukraine do against this? Well, there are not many options. More air defense systems, ammunition and modern fighter jets both increase the risks for Russians to fly combat sorties. Without these two, the threat of glide bombs will most likely only increase, and the danger also for civilians living in towns close to the combat zone also. And the danger these bombs represent, well, the images speak for themselves. Russia says of course that they are using them solely on military targets, but in reality, it's very different.